Yeah, the uh, startup, I don't know if you guys could hear that well, but the startup never gets old on these things. <laughs> it just accelerates very well. What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and we have not had a JL out of the shop in quite a while after being lifted, modified, whatever. So I thought we'd do our normal walk around, go out and drive this thing and show you guys this cool 392 Wrangler. So guys, this is a 2022 392 Wrangler. It is not a Extreme Recon Edition. It is just a 392 but the customer wanted 37 inch tall tires on this thing and Mopar does not have a two inch lift kit at this time, at least available. So since the 392 is already about one inch taller than a standard Rubicon, I went ahead and just threw a one inch spacer in the front and a one inch spacer in the rear. And all I was trying to do was get just a little bit more ground clearance or wheel clearance in the wheel wells for 37s. Now he chose to go with some Moto Metal 20 inch wheels here wrapped in those Falcon Wild Peak ATs. And honestly, it really doesn't look too bad on this thing. Up front, we threw the Mopar little grill hoop accessory piece here and then some seven inch Mopar lights and then some five inch Mopar lights all wired to that factory Mopar accessory switch. We did throw the Mopar winch bracket with the Mopar Warren winch, which always looks pretty cool tucked down in that Mopar metal bumper. Now you guys already know the deal about Wranglers or the 392s I should say, but cool Jeeps, obviously. We did throw the spare tire bracket and reinforcement there to help hold the big 37. And then last but not least, some amp power steps on this thing, which are pretty cool. They uh, definitely help you get in and out, but still tuck up out of the way. So let's go out and drive this thing and see how 37s feel on a 392. Yeah, the uh, startup, I don't know if you guys could hear that well, but the startup never gets old on these things. Now, one thing I was kind of interested or concerned, or I don't know what word you want to use, is this being a 392 without extreme recon, it just gets 373 axle gears instead of the extreme recons 456 gearing. And again, I didn't know, was it going to feel kind of slow or underpowered with the 373 gearing, but even a normal V6 Wrangler with the eight speed, they still feel great with the Mopar lift and wheels and tires. So obviously this thing should feel completely fine. Now again, this one does not have a Mopar two inch lift because at this time there is no lift available, but these already have the cool Fox shocks and, and sit up a little bit taller than a normal Rubicon anyways, like we were talking about. So with those one inch spacers on this 392, it in theory should be sitting two inches taller than a standard Rubicon. So roughly on a Mopar two inch lift kind of. So that's why those 37s look pretty comfortable on this thing is because it is pretty decently tall. Now, if you guys haven't been in a 392 or watched any videos on them, they're pretty cool because the exhaust sounds extremely rowdy while driving and on startup and idle. It just sounds awesome. But if you wanted to have a nice quiet conversation or a nice quiet drive down the road, there is an exhaust button here on the dash. You can hit it and just that quickly, the exhaust sounds very, very normal. It's not loud. It's not growly. It just sounds like a normal vehicle. So kind of cool that with a push of a button, you can have a loud rowdy vehicle or a nice quiet, normal vehicle driving down the road. Now this one did get the Mopar tire size calibration. So the speedometer is correct. The transmission is happy. Everything's happy since the vehicle knows what size tires are on it. And I'm accelerating up to uh, highway speeds here. And honestly, you probably wouldn't even know it has 37s on it. It accelerated up to speed. And now that I've gotten up to 60 miles an hour, it is cruising in eighth gear at 1500 RPM, just idling down the highway here. So it 
it doesn't care about the big tires, obviously. Another thing I was a little concerned about was adding those one inch spacers on this 392. Didn't know if it was going to make it ride any firmer, if the shocks were gonna be at the end of their travel, but honestly, driving this thing around, it feels completely normal just with that little one inch added height. And for that one inch, I got the TerraFlex inch and a half leveling kit for the front for a JT and went ahead and threw just the one inch spacer on the front. And then in the rear, I could not find anybody that made a one inch JL rear spring spacer. So I found Daystar had a three quarters of an inch spacer for the rear. So we are sitting a three quarter inch spacer in the rear, the one inch TerraFlex spacer in the front, but we added that big heavy winch and the winch mounting bracket to the front. So we aren't sitting nose high since we did add that additional weight. Honestly looks very nice and level, very happy. So if you are looking to get just a teeny bit more clearance, that seems to be a pretty decent setup. It drives fine. Another thing I did add with that little bit of spacer is the Mopar front lower control arms. They're the control arms that come in the Mopar lifts. It adds just a little bit more length to the lower control arms, which adds caster, makes everything drive nicer, ride nicer. It's, it's just not that much money for the longer control arms and getting the caster where you need it to be is always a good thing in a Jeep or any solid axle vehicle. Now I'm going to jump back onto the highway and head back the other way and we'll do a slight acceleration. This is a brand new vehicle, so no, I'm not gonna be flooring it and we're gonna be hearing the tires spin. We're, we're just gonna be doing a moderate acceleration. Like I said, brand new vehicle. We're not here to beat it up, tear it up. But I did open the exhaust back up, so we should hopefully hear it make a little bit of noise out of the back of the Jeep. <laughs> it just accelerates very well. Honestly, like I said before, you wouldn't really know it's got 37s on it. It feels great. Ton of power, ton of torque. And again, this one's just the 373 geared normal 392. It's not the Extreme Recon with 456 gear. So you can only imagine that thing would accelerate even better, more rapidly, torquier, all of those good words. So guys, I don't know. The, the 392, it's obviously very expensive to play, but man, it makes good noise and it moves down the road extremely well. I don't know what else we can say about this thing. It's a unique Jeep, 20s on your 392 with 37s and power steps, but hey, that's what owning a Jeep is about, being a little bit more unique than every other Jeep out there because they're all built very different. So guys, thanks for coming along, looking at another Jeep fresh out of the shop, and guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.